No! Stop the water! How? No! No! How is this possible? Stop the water! No! Regarding the Apache land in Colorado, there seems to be some sort of strange foreign intelligence going on there. How so? May I? Yes. Look, it's not ideal for me to come to your office. I know that we have the support and funding, but I'm concerned. A phone call just wouldn't have sufficed. Ultimately, what we are seeing is a fundamental shift in accordance with the plan. This isn't going to be as easy as we anticipated. As I alluded to, we are seeing supernatural level concerns, sir. It appears that either foreign intelligence or something supernatural might be happening. Maybe, if we get too close. I'm not sure of my confidence in Carmine to watch over this land for the next three to five years. This place is strange. The energy there is, well, demonic. But you're not specifically at risk, Robert. You have your grease, your lever, and your pig. You have approval for 50% market premium via an untraceable fake. You have full jurisdiction. He'd be a fool not to take it. Uncle Sam wants this land. You let me know if anything changes. But as of now, you're not specifically at risk.
Robert? What? Robert, what are you doing here? We always know where you are. Listen, I don't want to disturb your fishing, but we've got a rendezvous point set tomorrow, 3 p.m. Be there. Sounds like I should be worried, Robert. Nothing to be worried about. Your interests and ours are completely aligned. Not anything uh, illegal, per se. <laughs> Later, Carmine. At the rendezvous point, be there. So, here's the deal. You're gonna walk in, you're gonna buy this land, okay? Just like you'd want it, it's in your preferred region via the witness protection that you filled out. The U.S. military wants this land, and we can't let that be public. You'll stay there for three to five years. From there, once we start construction on the land, we'll relocate you. All right, makes sense. Let me ask you this. What are we gonna do about it? Here's what we're gonna do about it. You're gonna approach the rancher. He's somewhat difficult. And you're gonna give him an offer that he really can't turn down. You're actually gonna offer him 50% over market. He'd be a fool to turn it down. What's the catch? There's no catch, man. Listen, the military wants this land. We can't just have it be public that we want it. You're gonna go in, you're gonna purchase the land through a VIG. From there, you live there for three to five years. There's no catch. So? Here, I'll walk you through it. Basically, you're gonna approach this old rancher from there. It might be a little difficult to approach or talk to. You'll basically provide him with an offer that he can't turn down. So? He's a little off, all right? You're gonna need to approach him slowly, but I think you can get it done. Who the fuck's there? Who's out there? Dale? Dale Cooper? Here. What do you want? Get your hands up, boy. Or I can see him. Hey. No need to be feisty here. I'd like to talk business, okay? They told me I could find you here. And... Uh, spit it out, you Yankee bastard. Listen. This is about this land here. Make you an offer for it, okay? I'm a wealthy industrialist from New York City, and uh, I put the life behind me. I'm trying to get away from all that. What's this got to do with me? Listen, are you coming to the picture? With Damn it, boy! I told you to keep those hands up. No, no need for excitement. Listen, I'm happy to work with you here, but I got a serious business proposition for you. I think it can seriously benefit the both of us, okay? So if you just let me speak for two seconds, I can explain this whole thing. But first, if you don't mind... That's a lot, a lot better. All right, but keep those hands up. All right. Dale, I want to talk to you. Here for one serious reason, I'd like to take this land off your hands. I know you've been here for a while. This land ain't for sale. This land has never been for sale. This land is worth about five million. I'm afraid to offer you seven. You know what you could do with that kind of money? I see the way you, your family lives around here. You can set them free. You can take them, take them to a, a civilized place. Let me do this favor for you. Seven million, Dale. I don't got no family, and this land ain't for sale. You get going before I have to do something with you. Dale, I 
think uh, I think we should work something out. And I. Okay. Okay. This land has never been for sale. So, I just. You get going now. Don't make me tell you again. Leave. Now. I know, I know. I've heard this whole thing before. But listen to me. I already had my guys run the number. This whole piece. Get the fuck out of here, you Yankee bastard. Okay. Talking soon, Dale Cooper. What's the problem? What's the problem? Robert, listen. This guy's crazy. This guy tried to freaking kill me, okay? Shut you up. need to talk to him. Shut up. This is not my problem. It is your problem. You were the one that killed your guinea friend in the Bronx. You made your decision a long time ago. It's either this or the chair. I'm out of it. This guy tried to kill me. Shut up. He Shut tried up. to kill me. Shut up. It was either this or the chair. You don't have a choice. Come on. We need to talk about this. Listen, I did all that I could, okay? The Cubans didn't provide it. They didn't have it. I've got nothing, all right? Now listen, listen, I understand you're probably really upset. And I can see why. But I want an opportunity to explain myself. Would you allow me just that? Donnie, I ain't upset. I'm pissed. You were supposed to come here God. with one thing. God. And you show up here, you make me look like a fool. You got nothing. You show up empty-handed, and you've really pissed me off for, I think, what looks like to be the last time. Carmine, Carmine, don't say that. You know my wife, you know my kids. But don't say that, Carmine. I didn't screw you. They screwed us. They screwed us. What's this us stuff? There's no us. This is you, Donnie. This was not my deal. I got nothing to do with this. You were supposed to provide. And what do you got for me? Carmine, Carmine. Get me out, man. You're going to be out of a job, Donnie, okay? Now, where is it? Where is it, Donnie? Where? <laughs> Robert? Robert? Uh, I mean, quite literally, red-handed, huh? What are you talking about? What do you mean what I'm talking about? This is your right body here, on Robert. the floor right there. You told me to do I this. I didn't tell you to do a damn thing. This was part of the plan. We had an agreement. wasn't part of any plan. We had an agreement, Robert. We got a new agreement. What about what we talked about the other day in the desert? Listen. What does all this the look exits like? are blocked, all right? No, no, you're all kidding me. All the right exits now. are blocked. <laughs> we got a new plan. You all either right. come with me and get away from that bitch of a wife of yours. It's a good one, the Robert. Chair. The chair. The chair, okay. Mm -hmm. You're it's real funny. Me, you're a real funny guy, Robert. Robert. You're a real funny guy, Robert. What are we going to do about this? That's my question for you. Here's what we're going to do. What are we going to do about come it? On. What are we going to do about it, Robert? Fuck this. This is not what I signed up for. What the hell? This is Carmine. This is your last chance, alright? It's either me or them. I thought you were my friend. Be as good of a friend as you want. What's your choice? Me or them? We had an agreement, Robert. Agreements change. You change it. We can make a deal. We can work something out here. We got a new deal, Carmine. What are you going to choose? I thought we had an arrangement. You were supposed to help me out, and you were, you were gonna break out of this thing. I had nothing to do with this. You, until you dream, you came out here and dragged me into it. We got a new agreement, Carmine. We got a new deal. What are you gonna choose? Me or them, Carmine? I'm done with this shit. I, after all these years, after everything we've been through, I thought that this time it was really gonna work out. Me or them? 
What are you going to choose? Okay. Hey, where you at? What do you think, Robert? I got a few things I got to take care of here. I got the wife back home, kids. What do you think? Hey, they're all taken care of. For all you know, they're better off without you. About this. Listen, we've received full authority for you to remove him by any means necessary. And I mean any means necessary. The hell is this for? What do you think it's for? Any means? Robert, this ain't me anymore, man. I mean... The killing, the murder, the shit's behind me, okay? I mean, there's something else we can do here. We could probably get one of my you guys. You listen, this is no, no, you. We get one of my guys. This is you. Blocks, you don't have here. a choice anymore. Robert, I got You're an gonna idea do this. Here. You'll have by tomorrow, end of day, to get this done. Oral agreement or otherwise. End of day tomorrow. Are you here? Robert? Oh, I got choked out fuck. by an old rancher. Oh, Robert, thank God you're here. I thought it was dead. <laughs> I thought you were tougher than that. 
Jesus Christ, did you not see what he did to me? I thought I, I thought I was done for. I thought you were part of the biggest mob family east of the Mississippi. <sighs> Robert, tell me, talk to me. What, what the hell has been going on? I don't know, you tell me what's going on. Who is waking up? Where's my lighter? Where's my lighter, Robert? I don't know where your goddamn lighter is. <sighs> Here. What's going on, Robert? It looks like you got choked you too, out. I thought we had a deal. We do have a deal. You're not keeping up your end of the bargain. <sighs> this is not the way things are supposed to be going, Robert. Listen, <sighs> you've got two days, all right? Get your shit together and get back there. Two days. All right. All right. Now get up. Help me up. Get, help me up. All right. <sighs> From soul. The water, the water, the water. I can see every inch of this land. Funny guy, huh, Dale? I'll show you something funny. Wait, you think that's funny? You think that's funny? Coward. Coward. The job is completed, however, the pig doesn't want to be greased anymore. And what makes you think that I should care? So living on this land illegally, his father. 
father obtained it from his father who killed natives and stole this land. Now just what seems to be the problem? Be concise as my patience on this matter wears thin. He, he seems unfit, sir. I mean, <sighs> mentally unfit. Robert, he doesn't or you do it. What do you mean I do it? The deal has been made. The pig must be there. He's the Sir, pig. Sir, please. If you want to take him off, you replace the pig. Dismissed. So, I think we don't have much of a choice. We need you to stay there. Maybe get a dog? You know, being out in the wilderness like that can drive you nuts. I hear you. Okay. Well, look, it's not forever. Hell are you? Yeah. Hold on, hold on. Y you sound fucking crazy. Are you drunk? You can't go to jail instead. This is the deal. Why would you want that anyways? I mean... Look, ho hold on. You sound nuts. Calm down. Speak slower.
lets him go away. Try to kill me! Shut up! You already made your decision when you killed your guinea friend in the Bronx. It was either this or the chair. You don't have a choice. Drunk. What the hell are you doing? Where here? have you been? Nice person I need to see. You. You're supposed to check in. We haven't heard from you in weeks. I've been busy. I can see. I'm keeping uh I'm keeping him away. Keeping who away? You know who. No, I don't. What do you mean? Did you just uh have a drink, no. Robin? And relax. No, I think I think I'm good. Hey, who are you? Hey, what's up? Like? You should leave, boy. Where are you? Whoa. I'm feeling nauseous. You should go. Ha 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 
Listen, Carmine, I'm not sure we can do much. It's one of those... There is nothing I can do, okay? No. Yes. All right. No, don't, don't say that. Don't say that. Hello? Hello? Out of it. This guy tried to kill me. Shut up. He Shut tried up. to kill me. Shut up. You already made your decision when you killed your guinea friend in the Bronx. It was either this or the chair. You don't have a choice. Do about it, Robert. Watch this. You think that's funny?
The time has come. All right, Dale. Let's talk this through, man. All right? Listen, I know we had a rough start with things, but we can turn this thing around, Dale. I'll make you a good offer. No. I'm about to fall in, Dale. Give me some, give me some space here. Nothing you can do now. Let's think this through, okay? The time has come. Hang on a minute, Dale. Just back up. Hang on. No. Your time. We can do this. Hasn't worked. Come. No. No. no!